People who listen to this music all the time, like music supervisors, would appreciate some uniqueness as well. Hello, welcome to another Music Monday. I can't believe it's episode 8 already in 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an old friend, also welcome. Uh, but do remember, the best way you can say you like this and you would like more of these episodes is to give a like and a subscribe. That is always appreciated. Thanks very much. So today we're going to be looking at creating your own sounds and specifically for the demo we're going to uh, create some whooshes. Okay, so a short bit of explanation today. Uh, why on earth should you bother making your own sounds when there's so many out there? Uh, what sort of things should you try? And I'll give you a demo on some ideas. Um, and specifically for creating a whoosh type sound, which can always be helpful. So why on earth would you bother making your own sounds when there's loads out there? Well, the obvious one is it's cheap. Okay, you don't have to spend lots of money to get the latest sounds. Fairly obvious one. Perhaps more importantly than that, it makes you stand out from the crowd. It gives you a unique sound. Nobody else will have the sound that you come up with on your cue. And sometimes when you hear a lot of tracks, you will start to notice the same sounds. I will hear certain sounds from virtual instruments on TV programs and I know where they've come from. Okay, your average punter hasn't got a clue, but people who listen to this music all the time, like music supervisors, would appreciate some uniqueness as well. So, the final one is it's just great good fun. It's like being a kid in a sweet shop. You've got all these options to play with in front of you. And what do you choose? And the good thing is, you can have a little bit of everything. You can stuff yourself with loads of effects. And before you know it, you have lost a couple of hours, but come up with some amazingly unique sounds without spending any money on any sample libraries. So what sort of things should you try? Well, how about tremolos, uh, sort of fat effects, compressors, exciters, EQ, um, distortion, and just bung reverb on stuff. All these things are available indoors these days. And I say this as in use everything in moderation. Okay. But don't be afraid to stick everything on and see what it sounds like. It may be absolutely amazing. There aren't any rules. And that's kind of the point. Okay. Let's go over to logic and see what we can come up with. Okay, welcome to a logic session. I'm going to do two different things here. One, I'm going to show you what you can do with an instrument that's built into your door. And secondly, we're going to have a play around with a recorded sound. At the moment, I have nothing. I'm going to grab something from 
uh, let's grab some orchestral percussion and let's find Let's just use a crash symbol. That's easy enough to do. Uh, let's make sure we hit the first of the bar. Okay, step one. We now have a sound. Let's have a look at that. Okay, great. So we want to manipulate that and make it into our own sound. Um, first thing I would do is bounce in place because this is going to convert our MIDI sound into a piece of audio that we can work with. First obvious one that you should be able to do in most doors is reverse the sound. This gives you a nice intro. That brilliant sucking sound that you can get to introduce different parts of your cue. Um, we can zoom in. And if you want it to be more abrupt, cut it off. Yep. So there you go simple we've just put in a sound bounced it out and reversed it now from here the world is your lobster you know you've got all these different effects um which we do let's try putting some tremolo on it so you get that bouncy side to side we could make it quicker uh, what else could we do oh we could add some chorus if you need it to last longer we'll stick some reverb on it uh, and literally play around let's grab a synth reverb it's not designed for symbols but uh, what is rapid ramping? Not a massive effect. Ooh, that's got a nice, well, funnily enough, an airy end to it. So uh, that's one example. We take a sound, we bounce it in place, and play around with it, reverse it, add audio effects. Um, so we don't get confused I'm just going to get rid of those and let's do an audio I think the first one was quite loud. Although, actually, that might work. So, you record some audio. So, this time we're not worried about bouncing in place because we've already got our audio. What I'm going to do is chop that up. I don't know if I'm going to need the others. That may be fine. And then you can just go over it ahead and get rid of the bits you don't need now we've got four samples to play with easiest thing i tend to do in logic is grab it and stick it into a sampler if i play a key on the keyboard that now plays that sample i can move the start of that 
sample so I can capture the transition or I can go straight in at the transition. You can then change the length of it. And instead of doing one shots, you can loop it. Change the loop area. And depending on where you play it, um, in this version of Sampler, it will pitch correct it by speeding it up or slowing it down, which can be interesting in itself. What I want is a sort of really quick sound for a whoosh. And what we can do is say in the mod matrix, we could link the mod wheel to the pitch. So it's going to edit this coarse pitch now as I move. Great fun. Um, we could introduce a cutoff filter. We could also link the mod wheel to that. Uh, filter cutoff. So if we drag the filter down to start with. And maybe not have it affect it quite so much. So it opens up the filter as the mod wheel moves and the pitch is also changing at the same time. Which means I can now use this to record my own sort of whoosh. And the easiest way to do that is probably... Not by recording more audio. Yep, let's get rid of that. Let's go here. Okay, let's just do a bar. And then we could go in to automation we want to edit the modulation and we're going to go from the bottom to the top of modulation you've now got the option to move that note so we could pitch that down and you'll get a different effect. Uh, we could stick it back up to where it was and you can change, you know, anything you get the idea then you're back to uh, would we want some stereo delay on this let's just get rid of those midpoints Pretty cool. Uh, we could stick some reverb on it as well. Okay. Immediately, nobody else in the world has that sound. Add it to a queue. It is definitely yours. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, 
a like and a subscribe is always appreciated and really helps the channel out um, and until next week take care yeah.